Greetings, discreet defenders. Today we are set up to do a denim and gel test of the Black Hills Honey Badger from the Ruger LCR. Now, once again, this is a 38 Special Plus P ammunition. We have about a 17 inch column of ballistic gel prepared, four layers of heavy denim. And I figure one shot ought to be sufficient. We're not looking for expansion. We're just hoping to get an idea of how deep it penetrates. And in particular, whether or not it'll fly straight in the block. So I'm gonna to try to center this shot because sometimes light for caliber rounds like this, which is a hundred grain copper solid will actually sort of deviate from a straight force in a ballistic gel test, at least in my experience. All right, it's exited the top of the block. It looks like my marksmanship wasn't ideal. I'm gonna try to set up and shoot another one before we lose too much water out of the gallon jug. And I'll aim just a bit lower this time. Yes, got all four layers. And that time we had a capture. That's ideal. Very good. All right, let me get that water jug out of there for the moment. Put away the Ruger. And let's get a look at the honey badger. Now the second track is a little bit below the first one. But there it comes to an end base forward, not necessarily, you know what, I feel like it tumbled. I don't think it, uh, I don't think it went base forward at the end, sometimes as they're sucked back up a, a wound channel or a, a track in the, in the gel, they will, uh, they'll get turned around, so they might flip right at the end, right as they're rebounding at the end of the track. But let's measure from the end of the block here. All right, looks like, wow, an ideal 15 inches of penetration in the gel, in the ballistic gel. Really good clarity. In that uh, in that gel block, and uh, yeah, the honey badger by Black Hills Ammunition. I'd call this a success story. It's um, the track is definitely. Closer to straight than I had feared. Definitely did not veer off course very much at all. Maybe just a little bit of angling to the right at the end, but you can see from the beginning that was already, it was a little bit more right to left than the first one, than the first shot. So that may just be, again, my, uh, my marksmanship. Maybe my marksmanship is lacking just a bit. That is a pretty straight shooter. I gotta say, I like it. Also, the recoil is quite manageable. All right, thanks folks. This has been Dave with DDR. Have a great week.